So in this part of the video, I'm going to be covering sort of an example uh, surrounding short selling stocks in the market. The sort of information I need for this example, which will usually be given to you, I'm going to put down in the video uh, sort of screen so you can keep following along as I progress through this example. So let's say that you're an investor and you want to so short sell some stocks. You go to your broker and the stocks right now are currently trading for $35 a share and you want to short sell 100 shares. Your broker is going to ask you the first question of the first part of the question, which is how much money are you going to deposit right now? Or how much money do you need to give your broker right now so that this whole short selling process can begin? From earlier in this video, I said that you need to deposit half of the market value of the actual investment that the broker is going to make. So you're going to your broker right now. You're saying, can you short sell 35, um, 30, uh, short sell $3,500 um, worth of stock for me right now? And essentially that can be calculated as the stocks right now are trading for $35 a share. Simple. And you want to short sell or sell right now $100, uh, 100 shares. Simple. That's $3,500 worth of shares. Or the investment that you're making is $3,500. But you need to deposit half of this into the short account. That money's not actually going to be used directly, but you need to keep deposit it in that account regardless. So $3,500 times 0.5 equals 1750. So 1750 is the amount that you have to put into the short account before your broker actually starts any of this process. This is a sort of fixed amount that you need to keep in there for right now. So the second part of the question is how much money do you actually make off the entire short selling process? So the easiest way to sort of understand how this works is monitor the cash inflows and outflows throughout the entire process. And for this question, I'm going to ignore um, sort of the transaction fees, like the buying, uh, the sort of purchase fees and the sales commission, just because I want to keep this about the actual process of short selling. Um, and another video that I cover, I'll factor in all the, um, all the sort of transaction fees as well, just so it doesn't get complex in this example. So basically, we need to keep track of what the transactions are. We are selling the stock right now, so we're going to have cash inflow. And we are going to buy the stock later, which means we'll also have to spend money. So right now, ignoring this, we just told our broker to buy, or sorry, sell $3,500 worth of stocks. And it was his stock. So right now, we sort of made $3,500. Perfect. But now, one month passes and the stock price has actually fallen to $33 a share. Now, the broker, the broker is actually going to buy those stocks back. Well, the stocks are now, one month from now, they're going to be $33 a share times 100 equals 3,300. So, let's just sort of quickly recap. You bought the share, oh, so you, sorry, you sold the shares at $3,500 and you bought them back one month later at $3,300. And these were actually the broker's shares. So at the end of the day, you don't keep the shares. You sort of keep the profit. So $3,500 in worth of money made and $3,300 spent. The sort of profit that you made off it was $200. So basically from this entire process, you get to keep your $200 and walk away with it. And the stocks, which were originally the broker's, he gets to keep. So this is the sort of process that you need to follow during short sell questions. And I'll be covering more examples in future videos as well.